if you set the water temperature switch to cold, set the timer on the beginning of a cycle and turn it on, and the washer start filling properly with cold water, but if you change the selection to hot water, the washer doesn't take any water at all. Or when you select hot water, the washer starts filling properly. But if you switch to cold water, the washer doesn't take any water at all. Or when you select warm water, you only get cold water or you only get hot water and you have already checked the water valve and the water valve filters and they're okay then you will need to check the water temperature selector switch let me show you how to check the water temperature selector switch set the timer on the beginning of a cycle and pull the knob to turn the timer on disconnect the washer from the wall outlet and open the controls panel Set your multimeter to read higher than 120 AC volts. Connect the washer to the wall outlet and don't touch anything else. You will need to check the voltage between the white wire on the core connecting block and the pink wire on the water temperature selector switch. Take a reading between these two wires or these two wires. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. If the reading is less than 85 AC volts, you got a problem with the timer or the water level switch. If you have the right voltage, let's proceed to check the switch. Set the timer on the beginning of a cycle and pull the knob to turn the timer on. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Open the controls panel and remove the cabinet. Lower the controls panel and set the water temperature switch on the warm setting. Open the controls panel again. Set your multimeter to read higher than 120 AC volts. Disconnect the wire harness with the white connector. And touch the two terminals on the connector with the test probes like this. Have someone connect the washer to the wall outlet so you could take a reading. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. Have the washer disconnected from the wall outlet. Disconnect the wire harness with the red connector. And touch the two terminals on the connector with the test probes like this. Have someone connect the washer to the wall outlet so you could take a reading. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. If any of the two readings is below 85 volts, the water temperature switch is bad and you need to replace it. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Lower the controls panel and set the water temperature switch to the cold setting. Open the controls panel again. Disconnect the wire harness with the white connector. And touch the two terminals on the connector with the test probes like this. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. If the reading is below 85 AC volts, the water temperature switch is bad and you need to replace it. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet and lower the controls panel. Set the water temperature switch on the hot setting. Disconnect the wire harness with the red connector. And touch the two terminals on the connector with the test probes like this. Have someone connect the washer to the wall outlet so you could take a reading. The reading should be about 120 AC volts. If the reading is below 85 AC volts, the water temperature switch is bad and you need to replace it. Grab the knob and pull it straight out. Open the controls panel. To remove the wire harness from the switch, you need to press on these tabs and pull the harness out. Go ahead and remove the wire harness. Use a small screwdriver to lift this tab. Then turn the switch clockwise and take it right out. To install the switch, set it in place, turn it counterclockwise until it snaps in place. 
When you connect the wire harness, make sure that you push it all the way in. Use a rubber glove when handling the automatic temperature control board. Grab the electronic board and wiggle it and take it right out. To install it, set it in place, wiggle it and push it all the way in. Install the knob and you're done replacing the water temperature selector switch. Grab the knob and pull it straight out. Open the controls panel. Press on this tab to remove the wire harness from the switch. Press this tab with your thumb and turn the switch counterclockwise and take it out. To install the switch, set it in place. Turn it clockwise until it snaps in place. When you connect the wire harness to the switch, push it all the way in and make sure that it locks in place. Lower the controls panel and secure it in place with the holding screws and install the knob and you're done replacing the water temperature switch.